guys y'all welcome back into the channel for another not another episode but in fact an entirely new game and one that i think i've truly been looking forward to above all games i'm always excited to go on new uh playthroughs with you guys but this is my absolute honor to not only be able to play this, but get you guys to come along and see the story progression, my love for it. I have quite a past with Kratos. So before I dive further into it, if you guys are new here, welcome in. And I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough if you end up sticking around. Um, my name is Maggie. And so I just started doing Let's Plays kind of in the latter half of last year. And since then, we've done a lot of story heavy games. And that was the intention behind why I created this channel to begin with, is because while I've been streaming for almost five years on Twitch, it's not the same as when I have my undivided attention creating these. So as much as it pained me to not stream this game, and you'll, you'll understand in a second, but long story short, I have played 2018, and not only that, but last year I actually had the awesome time going through, working back through God of War 1, 2, and 3, like the OGs. I didn't play the two other ones that followed after just because um, I ran into another game that I needed to play. However, I went back, I played one through three. I also got to replay 2018. So the first time I played God of War ever was 2018 in 2019. And that first playthrough sucked. Like I told you guys how I've had a past where I just was so much focused, so much more focused on the combat and less on the story. But in the past year, I have really flipped that around, especially since going full time with content creation. I try to, not only like it's not about extracting as much content it's about feeling the game more and getting to understand the characters as a whole and who they are and their emotions and so i've gotten much more emotionally attached to every single game that i play and i think that's pretty uh prevalent in the way that you guys see me work through and deduce and predict i do a lot of predictive analysis i drive myself bonkers with it um, and I'm pretty sure I drive you guys crazy with it too as well as my rambles but all that being said I truly am here for the experience the characters the story the graphics like I now just try to see every aspect of a game and look at it as a work of art so that being said I did do the other playthroughs on stream, but I saved God of War Ragnarok for YouTube because I had a lot of y'all tell me that this was a story heavy game, especially this one. Um, and then on top of that, I have just loved Kratos' story. Like I know, I know <laughs> it's crazy. And I know that in the original ones, he is pretty brutal and violent. But in 2018, we got to see his relationship with his son develop. We've seen him come from a lot, like getting to go back and see one through three and see where he used to be and how he was a pawn to the gods and being used and his relationship with that and then getting to see him change in 2018. I understand that wasn't a remake of the others, but it was almost like a, it was like its own thing, right? They were like resurrecting the series. And so this is a continuation from God of War 2018. And so I'm really excited to continue to see Kratos' development as a character. I think we all meme about boy and we always meme about his son, but you guys know if there's one thing I love in games, it's a good parental relationship and family. Like I am such a family centered person. And so anytime there are family dynamics in a game, I just, I get emotionally connected to it like right away. So I am so looking forward to see, seeing how Kratos and Atreus navigate their continuing relationship, especially since he's getting older and he now knows a lot more than he did at the start of 2018. So enough rambles, guys. It is my absolute pleasure and honor to get to play this with you guys and I hope y'all enjoy it. And what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and watch the recap. Even though I have recently played it, I just feel like it'll be good for me to kind of react and remember certain things. And I need to test the volume. <laughs> the boy's mother is dead. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. God, it's the beautiful how they do it already. Don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, mm. but no longer. Freya. There's only one person alive who can get you where you need no, to go. I missed Mimir. First, you need to cut off my head. Right. 
Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. Blades of Chaos. But the Athena. truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. We can do whatever we want. There are consequences to killing a god! I can't wait to see the flashbacks in this one. I, to the originals, I've heard that there's a couple of Easter eggs. Oh yeah, Balder. Oh no, 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 my boy! Oh, my hasn't she sworn boy. revenge, right? Smaller. She did. Look, she was a giant. I'm a giant. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. The giants called me... Loki. Loki. Ah, I read chills. For another day. Well, question with the answers today. Oh gosh, not only is the recap incredible, it's just... Okay, yes, so it's really important to remember that we have Freya on our... not on our sides anymore. So Freya was really pissed, understandably, right? Like that was entirely what she lived for now. I think that was the one thing that kept her going through all of the cruelty that... Um, what was it? Uh, not Thor. The guy. What's his name? So many gods in my head right now. Uh, what's Odin? What all through Odin's cruelty and everything. Um, and so she, I don't think, is our friend going forward into this one. I actually had forgotten about that, so I'm glad I did the recap. And yes, we found out that his name is Loki. And so while I don't know a lot of mythology, like outside of watching, you know, a couple of the Marvel films, and I haven't even stayed up to date on that, I'm kind of in the dark on that. Like, I know that there's a significance of that. I know that Loki is the trickster. I think that is the god of trickery, right? So it makes me a little weary. The parts that they showed in that are specifically parts that I think they want you to know that are going to be prevalent going forward into Ragnarok. And one of those that scared me are the consequences of killing a god, as he told Atreus. And so if he is going to continue into this, um, you know, the god of trickery or anything like that, it'll be interesting to see if Atreus's personality doesn't diminish, but almost goes to the dark side, you know? But with that, I'm gonna test the audio and if everything else is good, then we'll put these together and we'll start with that new game. All right, let's do this. I test out the audio, we're good to go. So I just have to start a new game because I was just testing it at the beginning, but let's do this. Um, Oh, I'm going to do give me balance. Y'all look, hear me out. I look, I was born in the souls. I love the pain. I love fighting and great combat and I love the struggle. But first time doing a game like this for YouTube, I feel like I should do give me balance. I can come back and do a give me God of War playthrough later on. Guys, I love a good souls game, but I don't need it to be that difficult. Okay. So let's do give me balance. I just really want to be here for the story. Her ashes. I wonder how much time has passed exactly. Because I remember in the trailer, Atreus looked so much older. But it could just be how much better the graphics are after... Look at the details in his fingers, like even the wrinkles and his stray hair is beneath his beard. The armor. No, oh, he must be making a trace arrows. You know, the best thing about this game is his eyes. And I know that's such a small thing, but the way that they can capture what it feels like his entire life, all of the pain from before, captured in just eyes. And his body's movements too. Like it's so smooth. Hungry? 
That's a big deer. <laughs> huh. Did he have those tattoos before? Or the markings? I don't remember that. And look, the, the green thing. What's next? Who? Oh. Storm is getting worse. The chills. I'll get them ready. Horses? No, they wouldn't have horses. The music. Fair warning to everybody. I'm horrible with uh, skill checks that require thumb movement, okay? I have notoriously weak thumbs. So if that is going to be in this game, we're screwed. This is not by any means a deathless run at all. Wolves. We started with the hunt in 2018 as well. And this time he brought back like it was all instructions for Atreus, and this time he just brought it back. You know? Mm. I don't remember that. Look at the fur moving in the wind. You cannot tell me that this is not a work of art. The scar. Ready. Atreus looks older, right? Like, he looks significantly older. But holy cow, getting to play one through three. So I played 2018 before going back to the original three. So there's like <laughs> things that, like this is my first time getting to see newer Kratos after playing the old games. Surviving Thimble Winter, is that what it is? All right. We're going dog sledding. I just did this this December in Alaska, so I'm ready for it. I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is quite sick, Atreus. I know, Atreus. but he was a little better yesterday. He really wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Aww. To the side. Yeah, honestly, these are only two. Freya. Yes. Falcon. Is it's it gotta her? be. It is her. The state is not far. We're starting the game off on violence. Falcon. Sounds very fitting. Whoa. The thing is. Is she going after Atreus or just Kratos or both of them? All right, we need to steer. She wouldn't give up that easy, would she? She never does. Stay alert. All right, we're gonna work our way around this way. Oh, this is so cool. No, 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 no. What did I tell you guys? Weak thumbs. You gotta get away from her! I'm trying! Up there! Look out! The trees! They're coming down! Maybe try to shoot her with your bow? I don't know. There's gotta be something else we can do. Oh, shit. Sorry, dogs. She's coming around again! Trace. Uh, defend. Defend. Okay. Whichever side she goes, I'm gonna need to do it. Oh, oh. I have you. Nice. Hold tight. Protection stave is here. The stave. Can that really hold her off so easily? Oh no! Freya, we're not your enemy! Uh, Freya, what? Yeah, it's just me! Through. 
Right there. Safe. We made it. Did the dogs make it? Let us go home. It's Becky. Svana. Up. Svana. <laughs> yeah. Hell hath no fury like a mother scorn, that's for sure. Just took a mild stab. I'm sorry I couldn't take your shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's so interesting. I guess the killing Balder really did bring on Fimble Winter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Oh. You think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. I but didn't realize that's what caused it. Us. I forgot so much of 2018. Hmm. <laughs> the dogs are so cute. I find the text to be really interesting for the. For the credits? I don't know, I... I got it. They're like dire wolves, good lord. Bear McCreary. What I wouldn't give to see the storyboard when they came back to this with like 2018 and... All of these, it'd just be so cool to see the storyboard well, to it and all the the mind mapping. Fair enough. Go on, girls. Oh, that's for them. It's not even for. Aw. Somehow he looks smaller. Like his trap doesn't look as big as normal. <laughs> at his face maybe it's because in the one through three since that's what i last played i think in one through three it's just it is so dramatized like how big he is that he almost he just seems a little bit more obviously realistic here but just seems more human here i think it's also because he doesn't have that skinny waist that the one through three gave him like there's other pups all right so i guess we can kind of explore a little bit so we've got, uh, everything feels so good. All right, we've got auto saves. The, also, by the way, there's so many settings. Like the different abilities that you can do is incredible. Wow. Hello. I'm gonna name one Ginger. One shall be Ginger. All right, we're not going that way. Man, that was such an entrance with Freya as well. Honestly, I expected them to devour that a lot more, but that's okay. I guess they're saving some for later. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay, boy. Mm. You're okay. Mm -hmm. I know. I missed you too. Where's your food? Why is it always Still death hungry? whenever we come here? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. What? Too big? There you go. Oh, boy. Near. You must prepare yourself. Is it from old age? Or did he get oh, injured? What? He's still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. Mm. You're a good boy. 
a brave boy. God, look that at the details. So but you can rest now. Okay? You can let go now. I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sorry, I'm a really old cat, so this just... It just makes me think about that. <laughs> oh, Maggie crying again. Afra. They sue. Sofna. Wow. Sofna. Sofna. The detail they put in ties. Isn't that crazy what? too? No. It's the middle of the night. We night should. does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. We prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. We'll go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter mm. leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. Oh. Uh, My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. His story I hasn't even begun. I allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Damn. Look. Can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him? Oh, why? It literally looks like a movie. Like, the way that the scenes are shot, the the movements of the people, the eyes. This might be the most beautiful game I've ever played. The home looks so much more detailed, like... <sighs> oh, Mamir. He doing it with a spoon? <laughs> well, I recognize that dull expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh no, not Fenrir. The blades. Look How's at the, the lad blades. Taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it! All right, brother. Mm. Good night, then. Just, they, just three dudes just chilling in a hut in the middle of the woods, you know. <laughs> just my mere oversimplification, for sure. 
I think he's gonna stay calling him boy for the rest of the game. I don't think we're really gonna get that man. Adult boy. <laughs> I love the knots. Oh. A dream. Within a dream. Kratos? Faye. Do we actually get to see her? Are you joining me? Oh. Faye. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Grumbles? Oh. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? I wish we knew how they Tell met. Me your thoughts. We hunt the predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Oh. Is that so? Shh. shh, shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? <laughs> yes. No, don't! <sighs> Come on. I didn't scare it. It wasn't me. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. Mm -hmm. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. Interesting. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. Yeah, I was gonna say, Kratos is not exactly known for... If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Being proactive. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Huh. Something about her proportions feels off, though. Like... But I can't figure if that's because she is part giant, right? She is... I don't know why, it's just something about it looks a little off. But I thought that is so crazy, she took the words out of my mouth. I, you know, I didn't really think about this, but even in, like, learning more about his past with 1 through 3 and such, Kratos kind of is more of a reactionary, or, like, once it's right in his path. But he's not really going to be the first person to be proactive about it. At least not right away. <laughs> But I think that's also because maybe he feels he's caused so much already that instead of meddling in other situations. You're gonna make me pick that one up? <gasps> Good boy. <laughs> this is cool getting to see their relationship though. I've always wondered, like, who it would take this way to make him settle Pray. down. We know so little about her. Pray. Pray. Pray! Time is running out, my love. The transition? Where's Atreus? Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying no. the wolf. It's been some time. I cannot be far.
Um, are we surprised he ran away? No, not at all. Uh, that dialogue real quick. So, one, I don't know why I immediately forgot about it, but when we just had that dream, right? For some reason, I wasn't even noticing, but he did still have his ashen skin, right? I don't know why, but for some reason I thought that maybe it wasn't in the flashback, but that can't, that doesn't make sense. And then also now we have, all right, so let me do this real quick. We now have Atreus's desire to, after figuring out this Loki, right? Like this is, I think he feels like this is his destiny. Um, in many ways, it, it clearly is, but I think he's like a young child obsessed. Like, I think it's just a growth thing, right? Like when you're younger, it's kind of the same way I was playing a game where it's like, you're obsessed with people treating you like an adult, right? Like you want to, you're growing, you want people to give you the respect of an adult, even though you're still a child. And with this and everything, with the way that he talks about like Loki should be doing something and everything, I think that he's always like looking at the future or it's funny he's just very different from Kratos and even that's apparent in that flashback as she talked about you don't have to wait for something to like be right in the way before you do something and so you kind of see that proactiveness in their child like in Atreus like he's not happy just waiting by and I think that this is going to be a continual theme throughout this game is seeing like Kratos having to get out of his comfort zone and realize that Yes, he can raise Atreus in ways that he knows and stuff like that, but Atreus is a product of both him and Faye, and obviously he realizes that, but with that, Atreus isn't going to be, be able to sit back and wait for things to come to them. Like, he has that in him, but sorry. Okay, rambling done. Mm, track Atreus. Atreus has not returned home from burying the wolf. My worry grows. I will follow his tracks. Um, I want to make sure that we're taking the extra time to read every little thing and journal entry because even that right there, we get to see him say my worry grows. And I just like seeing anything from the point of view of Kratos. So, God, the, the, everything looks so good, y'all. Let's look at the map. Okay. Upper Wildwoods. And this is where we're going. Huh. <gasps> okay. You know, there is one weapon that I miss more than anything, and it was the one that we got from killing. Was it Hades when we killed Haley? Ha Haley. <laughs> Hades in the originals? The blades. They were still blades. They were just different. Was it soul something? All right, so we can do this later. I can look at this when we actually get the XP. I just am trying to just see everything that the game has to offer. We've got our chest armor, our wrist armor, and our waist armor. Um, okay. Let's do it. Nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through and break our stuff. He's fine. I should actually put on in the woo. Go to map and then let me track it, right? Can we actually yeah, active marker. Mm -hmm. But you can't really track it, can you? I doubt we'll get anything from those. But we should have to go this way. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. Oh. The lad wouldn't try it. Sorry. Fair enough, fair enough. He might this go outside of the stave. No prince this way either. Oh, we're here. Let's yeah. see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. Mm. That's most likely where he did the burying. This is where he buried the wolf. Looks yeah. like he lit a fire by the kennel. Commiserating with the other pups, I suspect. Aww. He we saw that here. earlier. All right. <laughs> You seem troubled in your sleep. The stray. Even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Mm. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. Sprinting? Uh, I just, the, my most recent memory of any of the God of Wars is the last one in three. Like that last scene in three after our fight with Athena. And you see that his bloody um, foot footmarks, footprints went off the cliff and out into the open. And it's just, I uh, am saying like, oh, remembering your time in Greece. It just makes me think about that. All right. 
Hopefully we run into something and we can Use fight. your words, brother. The tracks stop here. Use your words. There we go. And we're not alone. Of course I get them. Alright, it has been a while, you guys. Whoa. Alright, hold on. I am in Witcher mode. So I'm playing Witcher right now. Alright. And I keep trying to press right, right, brother. the wrong buttons. There we go. Heavy attack. Mm. New bestery. We always talk about this. We were having this conversation. Is it beastery? Or is it bestery? Oh, I forgot about it. Yes. Double tap X to roll. Okay. From behind. Ooh, Why am I doing heavy attacks right now? I don't know. Can I toss my... Oh, I can't. Okay. I forgot about it. All right. To get it back. How do I get it back? Okay. Shield. There we go. There it is. All right. It's going to be a little adjustment from the Witcher controls. If you guys know the combat in that game is very different. Oh. Blasted raiders. They should not be raiders. this close. We All right, we're going to pick that up. Protection, Steve. There's oh. a tree up ahead, yeah? Look at that. You can see all of how the snow gets messed up when you're tracking through it. I'm sorry. I know that's such a silly little thing, but holy cow. <laughs> we can make a snow angel. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go look at the best area. I think we talked, we were talking about this because it's the same, it's called the same thing in Witcher. And everybody says beast area, beast area. I always feel like it's best area. All right, but going back to Codex. The lore, do we have anything on lore? Oh yes, okay, let's actually catch up on the lore real quick before we go tracking. All right. It has been too long since Faye left us, and we spread her ashes from the highest peak in Jotunheim. A journey she planned, one that neither of us was ready for. I dream of her in simpler times when being together was enough. My duty now lies solely with our son, but I still have so many questions for her. So much that I still do not understand. I see glimmers of her in Atreus, and they make me smile. But I am left with those same questions as I try to guide him along his path. He is focused on who he will become, and while he becomes difficult to keep him close, I am grateful I can continue this journey with him for now. That is true. I'm sure at some point he might realize that he cannot be on the, like, his path and, and Atreus's might not be always intertwined. Fenrir? Is it Fenrir? I'm going to mess up a lot of the way, the pronunciation, but I will try my absolute best. The wolf has been in decline for some time now. Atreus cares for animals deeply and has not been able to accept that he is dying. In the past, I would have told him to close his heart to this loss, but he has already endured so much. I see the compassion in his heart and I am proud of the man he is growing into. <laughs> but I must keep him focused if he is to be ready for the dark days ahead. Specky and Svana. Not long ago, we rescued a pack of wolves from raiders at the Lake of Nine. Despite my warnings, Atreus decided to name them. Having these two to pull the sled has made transportation significantly easier. Aww. And our good friend Mimir. Mimir has lived with us since our return from Jotunheim. I have known a few I would call friend and brother. <laughs> fewer still. But I have to come return I have come to rely on the wisdom and counsel of the smartest man alive. And sassiest at that, too. Also, he is compact and does not consume precious resources. <laughs> yeah, I actually never thought about that. He probably doesn't need food, right? I would imagine he doesn't need food. All right, the lore behind our foes now. Freya continues to pursue us, seeking revenge for the death of her son, Baldur. I do not wish to fight her. She was a friend, but I will defend myself if she forces my hand. I do not see a peaceful resolution to our situation. Baldur. I do not regret Baldur's death. I had I allowed him to kill Freya, he would not have abandoned his pursuit. His fate would have been the same. 
I do not expect Freya to accept what happened as necessary. She will likely pursue us until one of us is dead. Wow. Magni and Modi, the sons of Thor, also pursued us on our journey. Magni was strong but arrogant until his very last breath and Modi proved himself a coward, but I pitied him in his fi final moments. There seems to be little forgiveness among the Azer, Azer gods, and I expect that we will yet, we have yet to suffer the consequences of the blood we spilled. Hmm. Lessons, we've got lessons, but we don't need to do that. So, Midgardian, Raiders. Few humans are left in the wild woods these days. Those who survive have either stashed themselves away in the warmest places they can find, or should they choose not to hide, have only fended off the cold by transmogrifying their folja, their guardian spirit. This part of their soul takes the traits of an animal, allowing them to adapt to the Midgard's unforgiving climate. As of late, the various remaining raiders around the wild woods seem hell-bent on murdering the lot of us. The protection stave keeps interlopers at bay, but every hunting trip beyond its borders inevitably results in encountering a scouting party or two. Hmm. All right. I don't think in my original playthrough of 2018, or even my secondary one, did I pay that close well, attention to the right. The state is broken. Explains our trespassers. The bear. What happened here? Jeez. This could not have been Atreus. We don't see an arrow. There we go. A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. The grizzly Between versus the polar bear. Beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Okay, but you cannot tell me that this is not one of the coolest things they've added. <laughs> like, look at the disheveled snow. All right, it was probably a polar bear. One could say it is bad news bears. God. I already know. I hope you guys are ready. This is going to be a very long playthrough for the record. I always tell you guys, take an average playthrough, times Aha. it by two, subtract Trails five hours, the side of that gap. and there you go. The other way. Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> nice. Any idea what could have made the but, lad uh, wander off? We argued. He accuses me of hiding from Odin. Doing nothing. Yeah. Only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. I reckon they will come. That oh. is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions. I, do I don't think there is any point to killing them, but I well, just... Good. It's target practice for, uh, one, I think it's cool that they added bugs, but it's target practice for... Odin's birds. Caca. All right. I also, if you guys are new here, am a resident loot goblin. <laughs> oh, that was close. So I will be taking all the extra steps to get every possible loot I can. Do I still miss a lot? For sure. Okay, I'm only human. But, and also it depends on <laughs> my nose. If I'm stuffy like I am today, I don't know. The loot goblin senses are off. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right, we've got some items over there. I want to make sure we see That's and get everything in this area. We must find him. I love, um, <laughs> I always love quests like this. I wonder what happens if you, oh, okay. I always love quests like this because I think this was it in 2018 as well where it's like we run into every possible situation tons of blood and yet he walked through all of this unscathed nothing mm. that's a strong punch i also feel like there's there's got to be more practical ways all right i don't think you can exactly go off the beaten path that is something i've always loved about the game is it's fairly linear what do you believe about prophecy, Mamiya? I'm skeptical by nature, though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, 
Shot. No bloody idea. Hold on, wait. I want Mimir to finish before I go on killing. That's not another raider. Or maybe it is. No, it is. Frost awaken. Hold to frost up the axe, powering up the next melee charge. Oh my gosh. Keep him in the air. Keep him in the air. Finish him. Good hit, brother. Y'all, I love a good finisher, okay? The feeling in the first original three when you were just keeping them up in the air the entire time. I also realize that I'm smiling as I'm smacking and slash mulling everybody. All right, so let's try this charge up thing. Oh. That was like... From the I'm not gonna lie, those are brutal. I think they made them even more brutal in this one. I wonder if they kind of brought back some of the brutality in the first three. I remember everybody was like, oh, you're gonna hate, like the third one is the, it's the most brutal of them all. And that first kill on, uh, was it Apollo? Whichever one he gouges their eyes out, everybody thought I was gonna be so disgusted by that. But I've actually always told you guys, you know, like that's a total smart move. Like you're fighting somebody, you go for their eyeballs, 100%. If it's me or them. Another radar to the left. Alright, I'm making sure I'm not getting hit by that. Charge this up. Finish him. Finish him. Give him a little toss up in the air. The All right. XP. Where's that trail gone? Alright, so I see treasure up there. We're gonna go through there. Was there anything else I missed down here? Jeez. They also... <laughs> I love the lack of warm clothes, despite all of the... Wow. Okay, whose blood is trailing all the way up there? We can't go through, but we can go around. Mm. Oh, we got a melee? I see somebody behind me. People behind me. Perry? Oh, I forgot about Perry. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta work on it. Hold on, let them hit me. There it is. There it is. I forgot about that. All right, let's do this. Let's hit him. Oh, the combat is definitely the best in these two. All right. Too many for a scouting party. Uh, I want to say there was a new, there was a new entry, right? That was something different. It wasn't a normal... Mm. Bronze, no, no, it was in the codex. Lore, there is no more lore. It was re- oh, resources too. Alright, so my resources, but no, there was a- okay, raider scout. While most raiders favor the strength and pride of the stag for their- Olja? Scouts favor the owl for its sharp eyes and sharper talons. They often claim to be able to peer through the eyes of Midgar's owls, but this strikes me as boastful havers. They favor ranged attacks and are deadly accurate with their slings. Ooh, okay. I need to get closer to one because I want to... Yeah, I, I need to fight one closer. But Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. How long does this stay frozen? <laughs> Does it keep charged the entire time, or once you exit? No, it does. Maybe. I now see why... So I was watching the Game Awards. I want to say this picked up nearly every single... I think it picked up almost every single award, no? And now I understand. In the first five minutes of the game, I understood. Forged iron. Mmm. You know who I'd love to see in this? Do you remember the guy from one, two, and three? Where you keep seeing him? It was the guy that had the key in the first one. And then you let him get swallowed and he dies. And then you see him in hell. And then in the third one, I think in Torches. the third one you see him too, and in the hell. Trail leads into that cave. And he's like, why well, won't you leave me alone? We are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. All right, can I kick this down or something? Or that's just another way to get across, I guess? Uh, I definitely want to grab that. 
the blood marks up here. Oh, there it is. Or you could do that. Nice. It's not Kratos if you're not breaking everything in sight. It takes me back to my Zelda days where you're breaking every pot. You rescued the wolves from. No. They have not been here long. Hmm. Oh. Alright, I don't know how they didn't hear that, but that's okay. Death from above. Sprinting off a ledge once in the air, press R1 to unleash a death from above attack. <gasps> oh. 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 Not today, Satan. Charge it up. I actually kind of like fighting them with the shield. Alright, let's get a nice little parry. Get back up. Oh wait, wait, it's L1. Hold on, I got bitch slapped first. <laughs> I just wanna get used to that. The trail goes through here. Leads deeper in. There'll be more. You know what this is making me excited for too? Uh I'd imagine because of the Norse mythology aspect to it, but Hellblade. Where is Hellblade 2? Talk to me. Where is my favorite game sequel? I need to do another Hellblade playthrough, honestly, with y'all. Pack silver. Ooh. That could possibly be a femur. Now that I'm thinking about it, hold on. I think we need to go back out real quick. The detail. What's that noise? Oh, they make noises. It's such a subtle noise, but it was what I dropped over there. A shattered rune. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Back, 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 back. <laughs> a shattered rune. Codex. Uh, resources, resources. Shattered rune. Shards that course with runic energy once capable of moving the land itself. And also forged iron. Iron worked into a form suitable for crafting lower tier armors found in coffins or chests. Let's go. Mm. Alright, we continue. I just really want to hit this pot. I know I'm not getting any hack silver for it, but it makes me feel better, okay? Mm. Nice, more. Look at the detail in the setup, too. Well, someone got in the bear's way. <laughs> I'll give it real quick. Let me break everything else first. This is like an intricate underground system, like a cave system. That one's got a sling. Look out, brother. Oh, the sling. Oh. I need to remember to parry like when I'm, oh. Does that stagger them, by the way? Oh, can I, I can't reverse it back yet. Hold on, let's uh, let's kind of see what we can do with this. All right, let me un. I want to see. I'm sure I would just. I probably can't reverse it back yet. I want to say that was an extra ability that we had. That's with the wrong Kratos today, though. I need to sprint off the ledge and do it. Oh, shit. I need to sprint off somewhere that I actually can. Oh. You probably parry that. You should be able to parry it, right? Let's test it out. Let's see. Give me that parry. That'll do it. Are you here? I'm. Uh, I, well, that's for the best. I'd be Let's shocked if he out. was over here. Also, are we still under the stave? Or have we gone. Like, does the stave apply to underground as well? <laughs> like, what is. What's the parameter on this thing? Decent amount of hack silver. 
Parrying can be your best ally in this game. Especially when you're getting surrounded by multiple. That is a decent CC, because doesn't it... I don't know if it blasts past everybody or if it just impacts the person that you're directly parrying. Seeking shelter. Kept moving when he saw the raiders and the bears were battling after. Impressive rampage. I'll give it that. The bear? You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, it's just likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to hell. Mm -hmm. You know the lad. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Oh, look at the detailing inside of it. There's so many goods and we only took the money. I guess we're leaving it for other people. That's fine. <gasps> Time to climb. Wait, I hear something. It must be up top. The resource that I hear. Right? Hmm. A trace. Come here, boy. <laughs> oh, Belvedere. All right, yeah. The health pack. The health pack. Can we take a moment to appreciate this coat rack? I don't think it's really a coat rack, but it kind of it's giving me like cabin woodland coat rack vibes. And think about that. With antlers like that, you could hold a plenty. You can hold a hat, your umbrella, <laughs> your coat. Nothing over there. Atreus. Boy. Atreus, where are you? <gasps> oh. Alright. How do you do? Well, we found the bear. He found us. Yeah. Probably the ladder. Oh god. Alright, reverse it back, reverse it back, reverse it back. Back up, back up, back up. Alright, so he's got some kind of special thing. Get him with it. You've been a very bad bear. Not good. Atreus, if you'd like to help at any point in time. Any point in time. All right, we can block that, throw it back, throw it back. I need that health pack. I'm so, I'm not pressing A. There we go. All right, this up. He should go red attack. I can tell you exactly what I'm doing. We broke him down a layer. Um, through and through, I keep pressing uh, X or... <sighs> Damn it. I keep pressing B to roll. Oh, God. I need that. <sighs> oh! Fiddlesticks! <sighs> All right. This is actually a really nice test that they have here. I should have a health pack somewhere. Bad. Bad bear. Smack him a few times. Cutscene? Or not cutscene, but like a scripted. It's gotta be scripted right there. Oh, you've done it now, Oh, it's scripted. Oh my Oh my gosh. Disgusting. Atreus is gonna be pissed at us for watching us beat up this bear. Mark my words. We got our health back on that, by the way. Back out of it. Smack him on the butt. Get it back, get it back, get it back. All right, get him to come over here. Dodge that. Block that. Block that. Block that. Oh. Oh. Alright. Bad bear. Back out. We need to hit him before he stomps again. Oh. <laughs> I just little, did a little Ooh. A little smack on the bear booty. Alright, run, 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 run. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Use the tree! Use the tree! Uh, I'm conflicted right now. I'm a little conflicted, but it's do or die, Mamir! Mamir! 
Wait, what? Is it a person that transforms into a bear? Atreus? Atreus! 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 Atreus. Hmm. What? Is Loki known for transforming? Focus. Heal. What? And I was attacking my own father? Does he not know what's going on when he's in bear form? What happened? You do not remember. I prayed Fenrir. And then I'm... I'm not sure. I was so sad. And then I was angry. He does have a special way with animals. I'm scared. I remember running. And then turning into a bear. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. What if he can take the shape of any animal, not just a bear? That had to be a dream. Your emotions. They transformed you. Hmm. Uh, I, I... I didn't know I could do that. Aww. You did not do anything. They overcame you. That is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And we will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Into answers you time. don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be. Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. I might have killed you. Until you learn control, we will take no unnecessary risks. Yeah, Kratos isn't is exactly a risk taker. Risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! I am your father. He doesn't know. Of course he doesn't know. No. The irony. He only ever, he like, he never thought like a father in the previous ones. Like yourself. Like in the original ones. <laughs> A grisly encounter. Wow. Oh, like, even just the dialogue and the... Like, what you can pull from it. Okay, I'm regenerating. Surviving Fimble Winter. Return home with Atreus. I mean, also, I, I didn't even pick up on this, but you've got the slight Spartan touches in his, um... In his waist. His waist armor and everything. You've got like the slight touches of that, but I just, you know, I mean, like I say, that's about everything, but some good communication could definitely help their relationship if he had knew even an ounce of what, but I mean, how do you exactly tell your son now that you were the reason that your wife and daughter were killed in the past? It's not exactly dinner time conversation, you know? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. He's part giant. He's part god, right? And then he, on top of it, this can way. turn into a grizzly bear. <laughs> That's pretty badass. Sure. But before we get too far and I listen to that, let me go to the codex real quick because that is a whole new thing, right? It's not in the bestery. What is it in? Lessons? It's not in lessons. Lore? Friends, Atreus. Atreus has grown much since our journey to Jotunheim. We have trained through winter upon winter with no summers between. He is stronger, more capable, and more adept in battle, and an excellent climber. But he still has much to learn if he is to master his emotions with discipline. He remains distracted by thoughts of Loki, and the destiny foretold by the giants. Whatever his mother's people intended for him, whatever she intended, I will keep him safe and prepare him. While I can. Ugh. 
Are we going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah. Are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. That's fair enough. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. He's simply oh, answering the question. This is my voice. Atreus just had, or, uh, <laughs> I love how Atreus is like, oh, tell your voice that. Uh, Kratos has only one voice, only one tone. And it's boy. All right, let's go. Companion arrows. Okay, look. <laughs> it is no secret that when I did my last 2018 playthrough, okay, it is no secret that I used and abused our son and I probably leaned on him too heavy. That being said, I was doing the Gimme God of War playthrough or something like that. So I'm gonna try to, you know, rely on him a little less and put in some more work myself. But uh, it's, I like ranged combat, fire. okay? All right, let's make this frozen. Now, Anista. Anista. Bye bye. All right, let's see. He should stay. Oh, finish him. Watch the fire. Anista. All right, I love it just for stunning too. I can't wait for us to be able to do upgrades as well. Oh. So lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts. Are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not Anything. really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, yeah. I didn't. But I saw the light. light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. The light of it coming out? Do you think it has a connection to the orb he was holding? He was holding some kind of orb. <laughs> I wonder if he could turn into a wolf. I feel like that would be more, like based on him having the wolves in um, 2018, he had the ability for his arrows to also spawn wolves. I think that that would be really poetic for him to be able to turn into one as well. Not just a bear, like he has a couple different, I could see there being like a wolf, some kind of bird and the bear, and then maybe he can turn into a dolphin, <laughs> a little otter. He turns into a little sea otter. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even think Atreus quite realizes how incredible he is. Like, he's so obsessed with being more, or this idea of Loki or something. Oh, look, they spawned again. Those things that I killed the first time, they're back. But yeah, Atreus doesn't even realize, I mean, oh, his language. I recognize where we are now. His capabilities. Even his ability with, with an what? arrow. Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. A raider sure or two. That makes me feel any better. Oh, I think I need to go talk to him. Hold on. Boy. You coming? I'm assuming he'll come with us if we start running. Boy. All right. Oh, it was waiting for a cutscene. Did you see the bird to the left? It was a falcon, no? This one. That's so cool. Hearing the creaking. More wolves. Bear cubs. Atreus killed their mom. Intent does not matter. Only consequences. And now he has to kill the babies. They won't survive without their parent. They what? could. What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. I actually have expected him to want to try to do something. Nature will take its course. What if that's foreshadowing? Hear me out. Parent dead with the cubs on their own now? Storms are coming. That better Isn't not be foreshadowing. Now? We are almost home. Oh. 
One more fight. It was like one more fight. Another raider to the left. Incoming fire. Cool. Uh, Atreus. What are you shooting, Atreus? Right. Get away from my son. I was going to R3 her, but she was already split in half. That's not on me. I don't need the heal. It feels so weird. Having to remember to use the arrows, too. Oh. Eye frames, baby. Alright. Ah, I feel so weird not having... Alright, let's get him to attack her up there. Nice. Get one more arrow into her. And then... GG. Wow. Lot so Atreus is getting XP as well. Like this all night. I don't remember him getting XP in 2018. When I fixed it. Or maybe he did. Somehow. No, he did. Because he still had other things he could level up. Yeah, he did. Huh. Spartan Rage, by the way. Fury. So we can level up. We can continue to level up Fury this time. All right, that was new. And then we have all of that. Okay. I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter affects all, all realms, realms, lads. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? I mean, if it's all the same, they could be pretty bad either way. Something's going to be at our house. I already feel it. Something's got to put them back on the road. Back on the road, but you know what I mean. Away from safety. Unless years pass, maybe we fast hey, forward Spana, further. You're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave oh. girl. That's right. He's good with them. No yeah. surprise, really. He's always been good with animals. Specky. You okay? Just a little thunder. If there is a sense of danger, I feel like they That's would a know. Good girl. Good girl. Hmm. Atreus! I'm just checking on- To bed! You. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. The thunder sounds so strange. Oh. As evenings That's go, crazy. that was entirely too eventful. Though well, I admit it was a bit like old times there for a the moment. The three <laughs> of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon hitherto. patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. <laughs> How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There oh, are other I love him here. He's life. so sassy. You'll see when you're older. All right, let's go to bed. There's not really <sighs> anything we can interact with, I suppose. Mimir kind of has a small head. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing that his head isn't like it's smaller than even Atreus's. Have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. I don't know about that. Oh, we didn't even eat. Where's the food? Another flash. <gasps> what was that? The ball. Yep. We can't have one night's rest in here. It's not her, though. It can't be. Thor. Remember, at the end of 2018? I come in. Remember the end of 2018? I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. Hide Mimir. Maybe we're hiding Mimir. Oh 
my, I have absolute goosebumps. Look at the sheer size of him. Did, oh, did I turn into a bear? <laughs> no. Birds. Is Thor famous for having birds as well? Oh, nice place. I did always imagine Thor being more like that than a Chris Hemsworth, you know? I have meat! <laughs> He's not too happy about Magni and Modi. Modi, Modi. The weight of the weapons alone. Look at how small the bottle looks in his hand. <laughs> Holy cow. You killed my brothers. Prepare to die. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable <laughs> person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. If the moment calls for calm. I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. What an incredible voice actor. Did we hide Mimir, by the way? Yes, we did. I was right. Why does that look like the guy from Game of Thrones? What's his name? Um. Oh, the birds weren't Thor. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Oh, yeah. Guy they're not his brother. They were his sons. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. That's true. But Balder, he had value. To torture. He was my best tracker. Uh... My closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. Mm -hmm. You're no fun anymore. <laughs> what do you want? He goes for the other drink. He's so small. How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? Retired. How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for oh. tear. Yeah. Oh, shit. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Did it? Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. Hey, Mimir. 
That's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver tongued little shit. Why should he we is a silver tongue. You? What have your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Damn it, that's too tempting for Kratos. Keep your boy safe. It's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? All we have to do is stop searching for Tyr. No. <laughs> Odin just seems like a butt. <laughs> like okay, he just okay. seems... Yeah. Yep. Mm. About time. I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called our blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. You know what he kind of reminds me of, actually? He does remind me a lot of Ares. <laughs> that was Rebolder. Now show me this god killer I heard so much okay. about. Can't right. fight without your axe, coward. No. <laughs> No shot. He reminds me so much of Ares. I oh. did not seek that fight with your brother. <laughs> I don't care. Was it his brother or her son? No, oh, now I can't you remember. You insult me holding back like this. Oh. All right, we'll be able to show him soon. We have almost built up. How were you ever a god of war? You're fucking hopeless. You spit on my son's memory. Okay, what's his I son? I can't believe they <laughs> lost. Like, was it his sons or his brother? I think I just pissed off everybody. Baldur is his brother, and we killed his you sons. The ghost of Sparta thing? Yeah. Then no one I'm capable of. Show me! Now we gotta fight! <laughs> I should have saved that for when I really needed to heal, but I think that's fine. That's all you were finally oh. showing them. Was hoping to oh. see your blade. Guess they don't come when you play. Mm. Stop holding back! Shit. This is a super easy fight, and I'm taking way too long, more than I should. Oh. You should be better than this. Finish it. That's for Magni. Piece of shit. Nobody cares. Nobody even misses Magni. Sorry about your statue, Tear, you preachy old <laughs> What if this if gets the bridge to work again? Dirty, you're not fighting, right? <gasps> mm. Afraid to get your hands dirty? <laughs> Let me see the monster inside. Let's see it. <laughs> Dodge that bad boy. Get this. Oh, no way, my boy. 
Well, they just weren't that good, okay? I'll maybe get some new boys. All right, we canceled it. Dodge it. Was it luck? Did my son die to blind fucking luck? Oh, why could you not see that coming? No! Come here, become a daddy, get a clean slate. That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. I'm progressing as hard as possible, y'all. What? I lost that? Oh, no. I say when we're done. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I'm not leaving till I see the real you. I already did my Spartan Rage. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> Let me get that health back. This is the god that murdered the Pantheon because they hurt his feelings. Dodge that bad boy. Smack him a little Look bit. Look at you trying to remember your old move. Get that back. Charge it up. This is the foreign god that bent the boulder. All of these gods and their egos, they just want to see who's the best. This is for Moody! You put him last, even in death. The fuck you say? Oh. Moody saw us in fear of you. He died of the wounds you gave him. Oh, we got a model father here. That's... This feels familiar. What? Don't matter. Whoa! I can give a hot shit about your fatherly advice. I want to see the god of war. This is the man who faced down Seagrim the Valkyrie. Dude, I crushed that Valkyrie queen. Okay, I absolutely wrecked her. So, what was it? Give me God of War, and I beat her on my like what seventh try? Where's the love of the fight? Oh, I did not get away fast enough. I gotta run away from that. I need to get some health back. Damn it. Clever girl. Clever girl. I need that back. Oh. What is this? Now we're talking. Look at the music. You hear the music again in the background? <laughs> oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. War out. Let me see him. Bronze tier complete. Frozen branch. We'll look at that in a second. I'm not about to break the fight. I see why my sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. Oh, you messed with the wrong thing. You don't talk about his son. <laughs> There he is. He looks totally different. There's the god of war. Consider your blood debt paid. It's in you. Oh no. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can Did we... you see his eyes? Odin is with Atreus. Oh no. 
I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. Uh, um, there's no way. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming when he says the blood debt's paid, it's because I thought at first it was because he awoke the, like, god of war. But I think it's because of Atreus, right? Like, they're just going to take Atreus from him. It had to have been. That's why he showed himself, well, too. To see you make it new. I, I normally would stop right now, Ain't but... Me on there, pack up uh, I missed Brock as well. I normally would pause right here, but we need to get back and see what happens to him. This is going to be a long video, y'all. But I got to run to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll keep going. And this will just be a long one. So I will be right back. Hold on. All right. Let's go see what happened to Atreus. And then we'll probably end it somewhere after that. But I can't leave on that note. We have to go see. It's got to be, though. I feel like that could make up the entire game is us looking for Atreus and where they take him. But... You know we made that hammer, right? Frey is going to be searching for us the it. entire time. I know that. All right. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold her own. That's kind crazy. of a point, after all. <sighs> Brock looks so cute with all the winter gear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I just, I am in complete awe at how incredible this game is. Like right off the rip. They don't waste any time. All set. This'll get you home. Please. Please. All right, thanks, Sindri and Brock. I gotta go by you. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection staves busted. Mm -hmm. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fella. <laughs> I'm not in my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Yeah. Or even pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. All right, thank you. Somebody, somebody, who would we be? This looks even more beautiful now than the first one. Oh, let me go back over there. It makes me want to go back and do 2018 for y'all again. Atreus. There's no way that they left him. Brother! Oh. Atreus. I was about to look for you. Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. <laughs> Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I, I told him no, obviously. No, I think Atreus will go on his own. He wants answers. And Odin is a silver tongue himself. Why were you searching for Tyr? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me? I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin or what? Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. <laughs> to be fair. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Trust. Sir. I think it's so cute how he calls him so. Like he does have respect for his father. He questions him. 
Zoe. Gather your things. <laughs> Knowing how he got those, like going back to the OG ones, was the best feeling in the world. <laughs> okay, see, I don't remember this. I don't remember that at all. Take that bread. Don't leave the bread. <laughs> Gear up. Armor and equipment improve stats like defense to help Kratos survive and strength to do more damage. Equip gear before heading out. All right. Fortified husk. You guys, I never go for the full body. Like, I always go for the ones where, you know, we're just lightly covering his chest. <laughs> strength four. I'm definitely going to do this one. Interesting. That's actually strength less, but your defense is up for sure. But no, I think, uh, Vidar's. Definitely fighters. Armor that will allow the wearer additional movement around the joints. Its construction allows the user to swing their weapon with more force, increasing their strength. Press to navigate. Mm. The wooden knob. Furious Maul. All right, plus two strength. And... Okay, so we can keep that up, actually. We can keep the stats overview up. Blades of Chaos. All right, we don't have new handles for that yet. Oh, I love the Blades of Chaos. All right, our shield's the same. Spartan Rage, we haven't been able to upgrade yet. It looks like we can upgrade it a total of three times. And we need 3,000 total to level it up next time. Let's go back to our armor. Oh, I don't think I can do anything for his bow. Hold on, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'll gear up in the main the main menu later. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to switch to what ready? I had before. Go. It's fine. What was it? The coin? The coin that he gave. That's right. Ugh! And keep the change, you bastard! Okay. Real quick, I'm gonna go back in because I do need to change that armor. All right, so we got an aura and uh, lore entry on Odin as well. Oh no, I can't do that. Huh. All right, we'll definitely equip that. But all right, let me go back out. Let me see if we can. Let's see real quick. Mm. No. Going back to you. There we go. Me struggling with the menu. Here we go. So wrist armor. Yeah, I only have the ones that I have. I should have switched them when I could have. I am it. All right, going into the codex though. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to read up on Odin. That is crazy. <laughs> Foes. Thor. All right. There are many differences between Thor and his brother, Baldur. Baldur fought wildly. His motivation to inflict pain. Thor is calmer. His bloodlust is for the fight itself, not for the suffering it inflicts. The full force of his attack is as heavy as anything I've felt. The hammer only compounds his power. Each blow echoes with the death and destruction they have wrought together. He chose to end our fight prematurely. It is good for both of us that it did not reach its conclusion. And then Odin. Odin's character... When he first came out there, I should have recognized it by the birds because I, I knew that like Thor didn't isn't known for having birds. It's just that when I think of his birds, I guess I think of the crystal, the crystal ones from 2018. So I didn't see that coming. I which made sense after the calm conversation. But Odin is a very like he gives me just like snake, like obviously like snake vibes. But you can tell that he just lacks a lot of emotion. I don't know. He seems like he is cruel. Like he just eminent, like, I don't know. It just emits cruelty without even having to do anything. But maybe that's because I also know the tales from the first one. But like his son before him, Odin has come to our door. He does not seek, I <laughs> do like a greatest voice. He does not seek vengeance for Balder, but instead he speaks of peace and inaction. Odin claims that Atreus has been searching for Tyr, and has requested he halt this endeavor. 
I am not pleased that he knows more about my son is doing than I. While I do not approve of what Atreus has done behind my back, I will not abide the gods of this realm, coming to my home and dictating our actions. If he does not want us searching for Tyr, it is likely that this, that is exactly what we should be doing. Exactly. Uh, I think the worst thing you could do is probably come to somebody's house and be like, hey, that thing you're doing, stop doing it. Because obviously that means that Odin fears Tyr. And there were lore stories behind that in 2018. I just can't remember them in the moment. I must note that he offered a deal of peace for our, inter our inaction. If I did not have better counsel, I would have been tempted to take it. His threat to Freya made it this impossible. She may persist as a danger, but to ally against her with her former husband is unacceptable. You know, I didn't think about it like that. I actually did not. I wasn't thinking that he was kind of threatening her life because maybe that's what he was going to do in means of... No, but he... he Odin would never actually end Freya's suffering. Like, he... There's no way that he would do that. I think he would keep her alive no matter what. But... We don't know what means it would take to do that. I mean, there's obviously evil ways that he could have achieved that outcome, but we don't trust him, period. So going forward, it looks like, oh, I think, did we make any new friends? <laughs> no. Uh, I think we're going to have a much higher foes list than friends list, and that's totally fine. But going back to the map, because I think we're going to end it there. Yeah, let's go ahead and end there because our next quest is going to be following Atreus, right? So we're going to follow Atreus to what he's been doing this entire time behind our backs. Um, wow. Just everything. Just everything about this game, even from the detail in that, like getting to see like, I don't, I don't know exactly what to say about the game so far, other than it is an absolute work of art. And it just, it shows, I think it's really exciting for anybody that's been gaming their entire life because it just shows how far we have come. And, you know, every time I think that gaming and graphics and everything can't get better, I'm I'm proved wrong. Every single year, something else comes out. And I have to say that I think this game is going to take the cake as the probably like... I, it's hard to say, but I can't become the gold standard because if I compare this to every other game I play in the future, nothing will stand a chance. But so far, I love how much there is story wise. I know that it's the beginning, but I'm kind of hoping that we see a lot of cutscenes throughout the game like we've already seen at this beginning. It looks like they've improved on the armor, the weapons. Um, I think Atreus is going to play a much heavier point like part in this game uh so we still see that dynamic between him and kratos but i like that we're reading his journal because kratos even talks about seeing his you know his wife in atreus and he's trying to like understand atreus with that mindset so with that we will pick back up following atreus to everything that he has involving tear as far as predicting what the game's gonna do i do feel like there still is that tension between Kratos and Atreus because Atreus really does want to find out his purpose um especially after finding out the the name Loki and so if we know anything about Odin we know that Odin likes to get his way and so in whether it's Atreus being taken from Kratos or Atreus going on his own to Asgard I do think that's where the game is kind of gearing up is they will separate at some point and so I'm sure as Kratos, we're going to work our way back into that. But that's all I can really predict for now. They're, they didn't give me a whole lot to work out with. I'm hoping that I already felt like there was a little bit of foreshadowing throughout the game, like even in this short segment. And so I'm actually like, I want to point back to the bear and the cubs. I think that while, yes, that is going to force Atreus to grow a lot without Kratos by his side, I think the main reason why Atreus wants to remain intertwined and by his son's side is so he can help, ideally help him become the man that Kratos believes his mom probably would want. And when he is off on his own, it's not that he can't become that, but I think he can be influenced by other people when he's not next to Kratos. And so I think it's the influence that worries me in, in Atreus's character development going forward. So yeah, I'm a little worried about that. I think it was important and there was a reason why they made a whole cutscene out of showing the bears, the cubs, um, after their mother 
dying and so I'm a little worried about that and I am going I I also don't think I addressed this earlier but I really have stayed away from any spoilers I'm gonna chalk that up to Twitter once again not having a Twitter it really helps <laughs> um but yeah I have no spoilers so I don't know what's going on so everything that I talk to you guys about is in fact my my own predictions and crazy thinking that happens but with that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like this first segment. I think that in order to work through this game at a faster rate and not make it take up three months of our lives on the Let's Play channel, I'm going to try to keep them around two hours to two and a half hours. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm trying to be pretty thorough between finding everything, like looting, loot goblins gonna loot and then also reading all of the story and the information that it gives and then fighting to the best of my ability so it's going to be a long playthrough i can promise you that hopefully playing at that balanced level is going to expedite it since we're not going all like gung-ho and trying to do the hardest right off the rip so hopefully that will make this playthrough a little bit faster but guys if y'all enjoyed that please let me know what your favorite part is if you played it definitely comment down below what you think about well i guess try to avoid spoilers or or predictions but let me know if you guys enjoyed that i always appreciate y'all's feedback and i will see you guys in the next video so thank you for your time and for being here and i will see you next time bye youtube